Hi, Serena. Hi, Charlotte. How are you? Good. And you? Are you ready to rock and roll? Sure. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Heal and Learn. I'm here with the beautiful Charlotte Common. We've had so many talks with her regarding women in business, regarding self-confidence, regarding all topics related to happiness, because she's a happiness designer. I'm saying hello, Charlotte. Welcome. Hello, Zarina. Lovely, lovely to talk to you again. And I'm so excited to be part of your platform because when I read all the other profiles and I think, isn't this brilliant? We're a team working together uh, in the evolution of humanity. So let me tell you a little bit why I'm a happiness designer. Uh, I realize that many people are interested in uh, buying designer goods. And I said, well, how about uh, living by design and designing happiness? I think that's a very, very important part of life. And why am I so passionate about it? I travel the world extensively. And I'm also, I'm a child of a second world war post generation brought up by people, by parents who survived the Second World War, damaged, of course, and, you know, they did their best, but they were caught in their old traditions, and, of course, we were taught all the old traditions, which somewhere keep you imprisoned. And I was a rebel right from the start, and I think I tried to break free and think there must be something better. So when I, tra I was traveling the world, I realized a lot of people are stuck. What is it all about and what does humanity actually need? So this is why I began to reflect on the important parts. And one important part is is love and relationships because so many families are dysfunctional, so many partnerships are dysfunctional and they pass it on to their children. And so it continues. So love and relationship, I'm, I'm very, very interested in that because I've got two, divo two, two divorces and I'm proud of it because I broke free and learned a lot and grew through that. So it's a very, very important part of the liberation and do it in a good way, in a very good way. So the other very important part I discovered is body image. So many people are trapped in a distorted body image. And I've written a, so, uh, uh, um, a course, a 12-step course called The Temple of My Soul, where I guide people through their lives and why they came to the point where they are now, that they're not happy with their bodies, and I'm helping them to set their unlived soul free and discover that there is a journey they thought that, there's, that it is lost but it's not lost at all because you can gain your usefulness or whatever it is, you can revive that. And it's a very, very brilliant um, experience to come alive inside. Mm -hmm. The other part is that I am very keen to help people excavate their potential. I always wanted to be a singer and a dancer when I was young, but my mother didn't like music. And I was always singing quietly, dancing quietly, you know, when nobody saw me. And I realized what an important part it is to help people, especially in the performing arts, to, un uh, to excavate their potential. So excavating potential, excavating the gold mine within, so that actually the, uh, your own light can illuminate the path ahead. And the fourth part is, being prepared to make changes, big changes. Leave the marriage if it's not working. Move somewhere else, perhaps change your career. And right now, Zarina, during this coronavirus, where the world has come to a stop, perhaps it's a possibility for people to rethink again, think what do I actually really, really want out of life? Mm -hmm. So there are these four points I'm teaching. Body image, love and relationships, 
excavating your potential, really listening to your soul, being led by your soul and making changes. And I've made big changes in my life. I've just moved from the island of Mauritius where I was for almost eight years, where I lived on my own. And now I've moved to Scotland, big, big changes. I know what it means, but I know that there is new life in there, inside of you, and just listen to it. And if there's anybody out there who thinks, I want to change my life, I want to be free, I want to be happy, connect with me, because I'm your happiness designer. <laughs> Lovely, Charlotte. Thanks a lot. Check Charlotte's profile. She has um, life to infuse into you <laughs> with her wisdom. And you know what, Serena, what I find so brilliant about our relationship and about our talks, our discussions, which are so wide ranging about the corporate world, about all sorts of things. You are from a different generation to me. You have a young child. I have three adult children. But you know what? There are people out there, and I'm 70 and a half. I'm happy to say that because I'm celebrating it. And when I turned 60, I thought my life was going downhill. But actually, the last 10 years have been, I've come alive. Nobody believes that I'm 70 and a half, and I'm so full of beans, I'm so fit. And this is actually a message to all people get up and go and do things. And my young, my children say to me, mom, because you have got such an energy and you are always such an inspiration to us for exploring more life. You give us permission to do the same. Mm -hmm. So, and I think for people of my generation and the younger generation, I've got a lot to offer. Absolutely. Coming from self-worth to purpose, to love relationships, to courage and making changes. Thank you.